First Ezra's chapter four, verse 37. Wine is wicked. The king is wicked. Women are wicked. All the children of men are wicked. And such are all their wicked works. And there is no truth in them. In their unrighteousness also they shall perish. I like to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Yashim, Yahweh Shai by Yashim, Rakahakwadash, double honors to the apostles, the bishops, and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and salutation unto the hopeful elect, the one third of Yasha Allah, upholding the laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of their ability, peace and salutations. This is the brother Bakwasha, and I want to emphasize this uh, portion of the scripture where it says women are wicked. And uh, this comes from uh, essentially guards that were um, during the Persian Empire and seeking favor from uh, Darius the king, and they all wrote uh, phrases. And so uh, I just want to go into this one. A statement and uh, I may end off the lesson uh, with some of the concluding thoughts from this uh, from this chapter but the reason why I want to go into this and this is kind of almost going back to the basics to a degree but also a admonishment because um, although we're at the end of this thing uh, some of the snares and traps uh, that the devil is going to pull are going to be towards the flesh. And obviously we know that the, the adversary will use um, women to do uh, some of the most heinous acts regarding, um, regarding our people, specifically men. And uh, I just want to cover, like I said, uh, a, a scenario I saw and how it could be a snare or a trap. In matter of fact, um, it's actually called a honey trap. And so I'm going to play a segment of the video. You brothers can go back and watch it in your spare time. Lord will, I'll leave, I'll leave the link in the description box. But um, it just shows how at any given time, we may think that we're doing something very casual and you may end up losing your life uh, behind a woman. And I'll even place the duality amongst the scriptures because even some of these wicked philosophies are spoken of as women because they will seduce and charm um some men to go astray from the truth okay so let's play just a portion of this video i have a handful of scriptures uh this would be pretty much to the point and uh lord will this would be edifying for the elect and so um it says dad of six killed over fake rolex um and it says a 33 year old man saul murray was set up in a honey trap murder after showing off luxury uh, luxury items and two Rolex watches on Instagram. And so I'm sure brothers have seen, you know, basketball players, celebrities getting trapped up, you know, women filming them and doing all types of craziness. But this one actually ended up in murder. OK, and so that's the reason why I wanted to go into this lesson, because there are younger brothers coming into the faith. And uh, because of this social media uh, driven society, um, women that were once not as available are literally within the palm of your hand. And um, women are wicked. OK, um, women have the 
way of manipulating and seducing uh, men that that have not girded themselves and fortified themselves, you know, in this truth. And so for brothers that already have women, you know, obviously this doesn't pertain, but for some of the younger brothers and, and maybe even a refresher, it was a refresher for myself. Uh, as these, as these days are coming to a close. Okay. Um, just to be more aware of the situations we put ourselves in with women. If you so decide to, you know, uh, uh, deal or have her deal with you, etc. Um, and just being aware of some of the scenarios that the adversary will try to use, okay, to uh, entrap, you know, uh, a man of the Lord. Okay. So let's play uh, a portion of this and then we'll, we'll bring out some more scriptures. Matter of fact, let's, let's bring this one out real quick. This is Proverbs five and one it says, my son attend unto my wisdom and bow thine ear to mine understanding that thou mayest regard discretion and that thy lips may keep knowledge for the lips of a strange woman drop as a honeycomb and her mouth is smoother than oil you see and so just like what esau those words okay smoother than butter butter softer than oil okay but what does the scripture say but war is in his heart and especially as a man of the lord we have we hold the supreme value here on this earth okay not these celebrities not money okay not uh you know not not people that uh are glorified here in this society okay so you know those words become sweet they become smooth you know, and if not aware, you can't be overtaken. All right. Um, I'm going to jump down to verse eight. It says, remove thy way far from her and come not nigh the door of her house. Least thou give thine honor unto others and thy years unto the cruel. Okay. So, um, I think that's all I wanted to go in on, on this chapter specifically, but, but the point being here is from the lips of a strange woman drop as a honeycomb, man, it's sweet. And, and what is the, what is the verbiage that was used here in this scenario was called a honey trap. Now, as I had made mention, this is duality. Okay. This is talking about a physical woman, but it's also talking about these wayward doctrines, okay? That that seduce men, okay, to fall away from uh, the truth, okay? So let's play the, the uh, first part of the video. This is Proverbs 6 and 24. And like I said, uh, Lord will, I'll leave this link in the description box. You brothers go back and you and you and you watch it and you think about some of the scenarios, you know, Lord will, you know, we've already avoided. But it's a it's a great reminder. It says um, Proverbs 6 and 23 for the commandment is a lamp and the law is a light and reproofs of instruction are the way of life. And that's what this is. This is a reproof of instruction. Okay. Coming through Yahweh by Shemi Shai. Coming from Yahweh by Shemi Shai. It says to keep thee from the evil woman, from the flattery of the tongue of a strange woman. Okay. Evil, strange, right? To do what? To destroy you. Just like this Jake was destroyed, man. 
And the thing about it is, you know, regardless of the Rolex watches and whatever he did with them, the, the point is, from there, man died. He was killed. Okay. Verse 25, lust not after her beauty in thine heart, neither let her, neither let her take thee with her eyelids. And if you think about it, you know, women between the, the, the wigs and these, these lashes, they know what they're doing, man, you know, because it's, it's, it's a form of, of, of seduction, you know, verse 26, for by means of a whorish woman, a man is brought to a piece of bread and the adulteress will hunt for the precious life. Let's grab this word here, adulteress uh, or hunt. Let's grab both. Okay. Strong's H802. Isha. 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 It says a woman, a wife, a woman married to a man. And we know that that, that means that she's she's a uh, she's intimate with that man okay so we're talking about a woman that's already with a man doing what seducing another man okay it says and the adulteress will hunt for the precious life let's grab this word here for hunt to hunt to hunt eagerly or keenly to take provision because what do men typically supply provision okay it says by implication to catch an animal to victual for a journey to chase hunt take provision okay so th this this instruction okay um coming from Yahweh Shemia Washai is is a reminder okay that the simplest of things on social media. That's that's why uh, Chief Apostle uh, Tahar said some years ago, you know, and and you know some of that is based on discretion. Now, but you know, hey, brothers shouldn't be on on social media like that, man. You know, until until you until you're, and I say this, you know, me speaking personally, until you're grounded and and, and rooted and and established, amen. These these evil women, okay, physical and spiritual, okay, can can destroy you. Okay. Let's move on to the next scripture. This is Proverbs 7. And yeah, let's start at mm. yeah, you can read the whole chapter here. But let's just bring out uh, Proverbs 7 and 25. Let not thine heart decline to her ways. Go not astray in her paths. For she hath cast down many wounded. Yea, many strong men have been slain by her. And I'm telling you, you watch this. And it's only like 11, 12 minutes, but you watch this and you, and you can easily say, man, like how close have you been to those scenarios? And I'm not saying every brother has, but you get a DM one or two, maybe three or four. And you see, you know, uh, uh, a female, you know, pursuing you tough, you know, These things can happen, Akim. Proverbs 7 and 25, let not thine heart decline to her ways. Go not astray in her paths, for she hath cast down many wounded. Yea, many strong men have been slain by her. Her house is the way to hell, going down to the chambers of death. And that's what happened to Jake, man. Okay, a 33-year-old man was set up 
into a honey trap murder. Okay, after showing off luxury items and two Rolex watches on Instagram. That was all it took. Okay. Out of there. This last scripture. This is uh Sirach Ecclesiasticus chapter 25, verse 19. All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. Okay. Because we, we read it in, in first Ezra's the fourth chapter. Women are wicked. Okay. And matter of fact, let's let's bring that out as well. Women are wicked, man. Okay. This is Ecclesiastes 7 and 26. And I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets and her hands as bands. Whoso pleaseth, Yahweh shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by her. What did we read in Sirach, the 25th chapter? All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her okay and that's what's happening okay the portions of of sinners are, are gonna fall on these wicked women man okay it says but the sinner shall be taken by her okay so just wanted to uh bring out that admonishment um it could have easily happened to, to any brother okay and um that's the reason why I wanted to go into this video. So, Lord will, it's edifying. Until next time, Shalom.